Hi and welcome to Budget Audio Review and Upgrades. Today is an upgrade, I would have said. Um, what I'm going to talk about is these sockets that you may have on the back of your amplifier stroke receiver. Probably a Japanese, you probably it may be American. It does happen in England, but not so much, I don't think. Um, and not too sure in England whether you're going to actually get a free pin plug on the back or just still these two pins, but mainly on these Japanese items, I would have said where you'd have an, uh, maybe a switched um, socket on the back, a two-pin socket, or an unswitched, or both. Uh, what you could use them for, uh, obviously they were there, they've, when they built this amplifier, it's been equated in the price, I mean it wouldn't have cost a lot to put it on there, but it's still a little bit of extra expense that you know, the manufacturer would have put into the amplifier, so you know, you could get some use out of them maybe, and maybe didn't realise they're there. Obviously a lot of people know they're there and don't use them or do use them, etc. But there may be some people out there that may be able to get some use out of them that they didn't realise. And that's pretty much what the video is about today. And also a little bit about connecting up an MP3 player. A couple of different ways there of connecting up. Uh, and, and one way particularly uh, utilising uh, these sockets at the back. But there is a few different ways of using these sockets. So if I just show you a picture here of the back of this amplifier. And uh, here's the two sockets that uh, I'm going to be using. As you can say, what, as you can see, one says switch maximum 50 VA, and the other one says unswitch maximum 150 VA. So if I just talk about what that actually means, um, pretty straightforward really. Uh, switch one means that uh, when you actually switch the item on, that socket will become live. Not until you actually switch the unit on, then that socket's live. Then it's obviously up to the unit what you've you know what you've got if you've got another switch in that particular unit say a cassette deck then obviously it's still not going to work until you press that switch not unless you left that switch pressed in the on position then when this come live then that would come live obviously but if it's in the off position then it still won't be on uh, where the unswitch one is that socket still live while you've got this unit plugged into the mains and turned on at the mains even though you've got it switched off at the front as long as it's plugged into the mains then that item is going to be live all the time so just bear that in mind so you could turn this off thinking that unit's off but it isn't it's still going to be on uh, how can you utilize these now the first thing i'm going to talk about is maybe adding a turntable a cassette deck a tuner to it um, i wouldn't add another amplifier receiver to it because these are uh, obviously got, you can only draw so much current from these uh, the switch one 50 va Technically speaking, there's a few different formulas and different ways of doing this, but you know, to be on the safe side, it's, it's probably right, you know, it's, it is 50 watts really, um, but with a few formulas and that, they're calling it 40 watts. It's, it's, it's uh, four fifths of the actual value, or take one fifth off. So, you know, that, that's 40 watts, and the unswitch one is 150 watts, so four fifths of that is 120 watts. So you can draw 120 watts out of that one, and 40 watts out of the switched one. Um, yeah, you may have a turntable, say for instance, that you've already got plugged into the wall elsewhere or an extension lead. Long as room permitting, because obviously start adding things at the back is going to take some room. And if your amplifier is right up against the wall in a cabinet or somewhere, no room at the back, then this isn't going to work for you. You need a little bit of room there to play with. Yeah, so if your amplifier, uh, sorry, your uh, vinyl um, record player is actually still plugged into the wall and it's a bit awkward you know you could do with freeing up that socket and you've got room at the back you could maybe think about plugging it in here if it's got a two pin plug on it then that's fantastic you know being this um, you know japanese uh, flat pin one um you can plug it straight in i mean you may have an american amplifier and then obviously if it's got the american round two round pins that'll fit fine uh, in a two you know round socket if you've got an american amplifier um yeah so you plug you could plug that straight in if you had that plug on it if you've got a, a UK plug on it, so to speak, something like that, and obviously that's not going to fit. Two ways around that, you could snip the plug off and get yourself a two-pin uh, plug and wire that in yourself. Or you could buy one of these little adapters. They're only about a pound, a dollar, something like that, and make one ninety-nine top whack. And what that allows you to do is to plug your uh, turntable into there, first of all, then plug that into the back of whichever one you wanted to choose. I mean, a, a turntable would be fine in the uh, switch one. And, and definitely be fine in the unswitched one. Um, so yeah, that, that's something you could do. So your turntable could plug straight into there, your cassette deck could plug straight in, your tuner, etc. Uh, just check the wattage on the back of the tuners, maybe. Some of them other tuners with a scope on it, and that may take up a few more watts. So just check that. But you know, anything 40 watts or under would be fine in that switch socket. 
If it's more than that and under 120 watts, then you're going to have to use the unswitched uh, socket. So that's connecting up something like that. Um, you could use it as a uh, like I've done here. I mean, there's two ways of doing this again. You could uh, this is a little USB power supply here. You could plug that in the back if this is a UK's power supply. So you could plug that in the back, then run the lead off there to charge your phone up or something like that. Or uh, if you're using your phone as an MP3 player, keeping the phone charged up while you're doing that, etc. Um, I've got my old, uh, got myself. Uh, if I just turn this off, actually. I do this, always turn things off when you're unplugging and plugging in. I've got myself a little Japanese kind of like one with the two pins on it. Now these are only about 4 95 something like that on eBay. You may get it cheaper. You may already have one with your iPhone or something like that may have come. When you know, you've got to put that special plug on it and use it as a UK plug. If you've got a spare one, you can take that plug off and, um, oops, let's just turn this uh, down. Yeah, take that plug off and just use that. Or like I say, get yourself one of these. And that just plugs in the back there, straightforward, either one. What I've done here, I've got myself a little Bluetooth receiver here. These are not expensive, these Bluetooth receivers. They're about three or four pound, that's all. You can get it more expensive. Get the one with, with with no amplifier. Some of them got an amp built in. You don't want that one. You just want the normal one. Uh, some of them are like this. Uh, you know, in a little box and the USB uh, adapter plugs in there. They're a little bit dearer. They're about 10, 15 pounds, something like that. So you've got a choice of a couple. Um, yeah, so yeah, basically all I'm doing here, I'll do it on both, but um, yeah, I'm just going to plug the USB lead into this, and it goes in one really round, that'll go into there, and then obviously that'll power this Bluetooth adapter. Then from that Bluetooth adapter, I've took the headphone socket out, or the line out, shall I say, uh, which will be here on this one, and that plugs into an auxiliary, um, anything really, tape record on the back or whatever, uh, tape in, shall I say, on the back of your uh, receiver, obviously not phono, but anything but phono that I plug in so you may have a few spare auxiliary sockets so if we go back to the one I've actually been using uh, that plugs into there into the uh, line out socket there's the power for it and we just connect up the power to the right way around the rope and we just plug this into our switched unit and at the moment it's turned off so that won't work uh, you won't see it flashing but in the unswitched one if I plug it into the unswitched one uh, that starts flashing. You can see, even though the amplifier's off, the unit is still live. But we're going to plug it into the unswitched one, like I said, sorry, the switched one. And that's, you know, I'd have this all nicely tidied up around the back here uh, and a bit out of the way, maybe. But like I say, you can run it, you can move this um, USB lead up to the top and just plug it straight into the back of this and have this in the top near the front of your receiver or something like that. And you could have your phone, your normal phone, like the phone you use every day. You could do it that and just have it in your pocket and uh, Bluetooth it up and uh, yeah, come through the amplifier or something. But if you've got a spare phone, a lot of people got them, duplicate phones, got a spare phone or whatever, and it's sitting in a drawer doing nothing. But it makes a great MP3 player. It really does. So you could use that spare phone and uh, obviously charge it up. Or, or, or if you've got one of these with a double, like this has got, you could have one going to the phone, charging it up, and one also uh, powering the MP3 with a Bluetooth uh, receiver. Okay, so we'll turn it on anyway, and uh, we'll get this playing. Let's put it into play. They're still playing the track. It will kick in in a second. And if I do a bit of volume, a bit of a slow track there. But anyway, just to show you it's playing anyway. Uh, this particular, I mean, I've been using it with just a normal MP3 player. This particular thing's quite good. It's, uh, it reminisces like an old cassette deck, and there's quite a few different cassette decks there. If I actually go through another one, as you can see, there's quite a few cassettes. This is a program, I think it's called C C uh, Cassette O Player or something like that. I'll, I'll put a description in the well, I'll tell you what it is in the description. Uh, I haven't bought it yet, I'm still trying it out to be honest with you. I'll give it a few more days. These apps bomb out or whatever, but it's only about £1.80, I think, something like that. And it takes this uh, bar off the top, so it looks like a normal cassette playing there, all nice and black without that uh, top bar. But anyway, I'm not recommending you or anything like that. It's, it's your decision that, but it's just something I thought looked pretty neat. You know, you've got that on top of your amplifier while you're uh, listening to the music and that. And, uh, and as for sound, these don't sound too bad. Obviously, the more you pay, you're going to get a bit more clarity and clearing and more detail, I would imagine. But this one here was, like I say, it was, it was pretty cheap. I think it was three or four dollars, something like three or four pounds, five pounds, somewhere around that kind of figure. They're not expensive. And it does the job well, it really does. It sounds pretty nice, that, you know what I mean? For what it is, it sounds pretty good. Gives you another avenue to play your music through. Obviously, you could plug 
your phone no socket straight into the back of uh, the phone as well if you wanted to like that's another option but you know you may have the phone the other side of the room sometimes you may be sitting in your pocket and you you're waiting for a phone call you don't want to keep getting up going over there picking it up off the side and that so you could have it via bluetooth or you know an ipad anything really like any, any other item that's uh plays mp3s that you want to bluetooth up to the uh the amplifier but like i say also obviously you can plug cassette decks turntables etc as well just to give you a few ideas that maybe you could use them sockets for rather than them sitting at the back doing absolutely nothing okay so i hope you enjoyed that video uh, if you did please subscribe it's helping out the channel gets me going even though i'm still I always plenty of videos to stick up uh just i think oh that's good another few more subscribers so let's get something else on there anyway until the next time i'll say thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon